Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Ulysses Balantzatagi. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by and taking a few minutes with me. Guys, we need to talk about something real quick. That is scalpers and resellers. Quite frankly, I've been seeing so much uh, content on TikTok, Instagram, in the community, just people talking so negatively about scalping and resellers. And I get it, I totally get it. I get where you guys are coming from. Um, but I think we need to point out a couple things. One, that there is a difference between scalping and reselling. I myself am a reseller, but I would not necessarily consider myself a scalper. And I know most people would not consider themselves a scalper. I don't think they'd put that in their resume or anything like that. But I think we need to distinguish that scalping is generally, I think the general definition we can use is, you know, you go into a store and you just buy out the whole store, especially when a, a product is just released and then sell it for, you know, 400% more. You know, that's gen generally, I think what we can call scalping. Reselling is simply finding something that's uh, underpriced or getting it at a certain price and then set, selling it at market price or about market price. You know, you might sell it for a little more, but you're not selling it for, you know, 400, 1000 percent more. That's generally, generally reselling. That's what I like to do. I like to find underpriced stuff, things that, you know, cards that someone's selling for $15 uh, when it's really worth 40 you know, I like doing that kind of stuff. That's what I consider to be reselling. And, you know, that's what most businesses do anyway that have a product. They buy it at a certain price and then they sell it at whatever the market price or about the market price. So I think we just need to make that distinction uh, real quick because I, quite frankly, not that I hate scalpers, but I don't like being associated with or rather thrown into that group because I see too many people using scalpers and resellers interchangeably when they're not. There, you know, there are people like myself who, you know, I and that's and I'm not trying to talk bad about people, just to point that out. But people, I, I actually I do care about the community. Okay. I do want to make sure you get you, you know you get your cards and your product for your collection. You know, I do want to leave stuff for the kids. Um, you know, I don't condone or rather I, I don't agree with the practice of buying out the whole store. Um, I prefer to leave stuff for other people. Um, but I do have to say, I don't, at the same time, I don't condone hating other people. I think we just need to eradicate all that negativity and hate from the community. Because here's the thing, you know, scalpers, you know, resellers, whatever you want to call them, they're They've been around since like the dawn of time. I'm sure there was someone, you know, back in the days they bought, they, you know, collect all the mangoes or whatever, and then they sold them for 4,000% more than what they are, were originally worth. You know, th that, that, that's just been around forever. And so I think we just need to understand that's, that's just the reality that's going to happen. And so instead of hating, we need to just try a different strategy. You know, people have been walking into stores and used and they're, they're used to finding product there. Well, that's not happening anymore. Well, so then instead of complaining, try a new strategy. And we'll get to that in a sec. I do want to point out one more thing about hating, though, because here's the thing. When you hate on someone, you're only really hurting yourself. Like biologically, physiologically, you are hurting yourself. I don't think most of you know this, um, but I do work. Uh, in a family company, our family company, uh, we work with people with chronic illnesses, uh, including, you know, mental, uh, well, uh, we talk a lot about mental health, physical health, all that good stuff. And, you know, what happens is that when you hate on someone, when you're dwelling, when you keep thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, these horrible scalpers, I'm never going to be able to afford all this stuff. They're horrible. I hope they go to hell. All those different things I keep seeing. What happens is that you are actually turning on the stress mechanism in your own body. And which means you're producing more cortisol, more adrenaline, all these stress hormones, which are, they're not bad. They're not bad for you. But when you dwell, that means that you're turning on that mechanism over and over and over again throughout the day. And so you're having an overproduction of these hormones. And just very simply put, because I'm not going to get into all the science, but very simply put, what happens when you have an excess of cortisol, for example, is that your immune system actually gets suppressed. And you have, uh, you know, your immune system, your uh, endocrine system, uh, digestive system, like all these different things happen uh, physiologically, biologically to your body and um, affecting your both your mental and your physical health. And so that's why, not, why I say 
that, you know, we have to stop complaining. We have to stop, you know, just having all this negativity and hate, you know, for these scalpers because quite frankly, you're going to do more damage to yourself. And guys, I don't want to see your mental or physical health uh, declining because you're hating on someone else. So we got to just eradicate the hate. Instead of hating, you know, just accept that, you know, that's what people do. That's, you know, they're not going to stop just because you hate them. They're not going to stop. That's just the reality. Um, because, you know, quite frankly, that's just, that's people's business. And again, I don't condone that practice, but that's just how people are going to run their business. And so that we're, we can't make them stop. That's fine. You don't have to buy from them. You don't have to agree with them, but don't hate them. Okay. Just try a different strategy so that you can, you can get the product and the cards that you want. Um, as a side note, I think what I'll do is I'll make a video, uh, where I talk about, um, how I make money selling cards because I, I'll, I'll go into um, some of the ways that uh, how I find underpriced stuff. So that way you can also, if you're a collector, whether you're a collector or a seller, um, you can, those tips hopefully will help you to find the cards and product that you want as well. And so um, if you, if we're not going to hate on them, how, what is the strategy? What can we do to hedge um, against the uh, the scalpers if you're a collector or if you're a reseller or whatever it might be. Uh, I got a few a few ideas. I did write them down. Give me a sec. I'll probably cut this in the video. Okay, so first and foremost, if you know that there's a product being released in the future, I highly, highly suggest you pre-order it. Like that is almost a guarantee that you'll get it. I know with like Champion's Path uh, or even, even with Vivid Voltage, um, that there have been, uh, you know, pre-orders that have been refunded because the distributor or rather the, the shop was not able to fulfill all those orders. Um, but it's, that's a much better option than just trying to go into the store and hoping it's there. So if you can pre-order stuff, do it. Um, and I highly, highly suggest you do that, especially um, this coming year. You know, we have the uh, 25th anniversary set coming out. There might be other stuff that, that Pokemon's going to uh, come out with with this anniversary. So I would highly suggest that as soon as you know that there's a product out that you want, just pre-order it. Just get it out of the way. Uh, second thing is understand that most items, now obviously there are some exceptions, but most product uh, that Pokemon releases doesn't have a one-time print. You know, even with Vivid Voltage, um, it has a, a pretty limited print run, but um, they are going to reprint it and release it again sometime in December uh, or in January. So even with Vivid Voltage, uh, we know that we're getting more. Uh, we saw, we've seen this with Hidden Fates, you know, and other and uh, other product, other sets. So if you can't find it on release day, you can't find it that first week or second week or third week. Just know that it's gonna. It's there's a very good chance it'll be there in two months, in three months. You know, when I went looking for Champions Path on release day, I only found um, product on the very last store. I was out for hours. I know some people were out for like the whole day looking for it and didn't find any. Uh, but I found some on release day, and then ever since then, I have not been able to find it up until this past weekend. When I just happened to walk in the GameStop, was not even planning on going there, and they had some on the shelf. So you just never know um, when uh, when they'll be in stock. But again, like I said, they normally don't just have one print run. Uh, you can usually find it a month a month down the road, two months down the road. And I know that kind of sucks, you know. But just be patient because oftentimes they just have more uh, more product coming in the future. Um, uh, another thing to keep in mind is you know, shop online. If you can't find it in store, check online. Maybe check online, maybe, uh, probably check online first. And don't just check um, Walmart and Target and GameStop and these bigger um, um, these bigger stores, but also, you know, check uh, online shops. You know, there are lots of, uh, well, I don't know about lots, but there's a good amount of online shops, um, people who do this either part-time or it's their full-time job and they just, they sell product online. Now, it might not be as cheap as what you'll get at Walmart, but it's going to be a whole lot cheaper than, generally speaking, than buying it from someone who is selling it 400% more, okay? Um, other stuff is, you know, search odd places, or I say odd places because they're not, they're generally not the place that you would think when you uh, think of when you think of Pokemon, um, but you can find Pokemon cards at Burlington. You can find them at Barnes & Noble, Best Buy. I've even heard, I haven't confirmed this, but I've heard that you can even find them at Party City. And so there are other stores that you can find Pokemon cards at. 
Again, they might not be Walmart price. They might be a little more expensive, but that's better than paying 200 or 300% more for a product. Um, other stuff, uh, I'll keep in mind that between now and the end of the year, and even at the beginning of the year, there are going to be a lot of sales, especially at Walmart, uh, Target, probably GameStop, um, and Best Buy, and like all these other stores, they're going to have lots of sales because it's quarter four in business. And so they need to make a certain amount of uh, a quota. And also they're trying to move product. You know, this is the best time of the year, Christmas time uh, for businesses to sell stuff. And so they're going to have lots of sales um, between now and Christmas and after Christmas. Keep in mind that, um, again, because they have they want to meet a certain quota, lots of stores will have sales after Christmas time and the beginning of the year because they need to move inventory so then they can receive the, uh, the new product. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. Lots of sales coming up between now and the end of the year. Um, so follow, also follow people in the community, like on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok, um, because lots of people in the community, they will let you know when they find a good deal. Um, I know on my Instagram, on my TikTok, on my Twitter, I will put up, um, when I find a sale, because again, guys, I, I mean, I do resell stuff, but I want you guys to win too. I want you to find the, that stuff for your collection. And so um, I you normally put in these YouTube videos, you know, where you can find me on Instagram and social media and all that good stuff. And I think I do need to get better at it, I, better at it because there have been a few times I have forgotten to post something on a sale. But I mean, we had a, a restock on the Pokemon Center website um, a few weeks ago, and I made sure to put that everywhere on TikTok, on, on uh, Twitter, Instagram, um, because I know so many people were looking for Champion's Path. Um, and so, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that on my on my own personal social media accounts. Um, other people to look into, uh, TC, uh, TCG Funhouse, shout out to them. They're usually pretty good at also um, letting people know when there are sales on Pokemon product in general. Um, Danny Phantom, look him up. Uh, he's also pretty good at that. Uh, Pokey Parents on, on TikTok. Um, uh, Pokey John Breaks on TikTok as well. And, you know, just other people. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who do that as, as well. Those are just the first people who came to mind when I was thinking about this. Um, other options are to trade. You know, if someone has a Champions Path ETB, they might trade you for maybe another ETB or two or other cards because they, they just might want those cards. So consider um, um, getting into trades with other people. Um, there are trades happening all the time in the Pokemon community, so take advantage of that. If you want a product that you uh, that you don't have, you know, put it up on Twitter, on Instagram, join groups on Facebook, um, and see if you can trade for that product. Um, and then last thing, guys, is just kind of like what I was saying earlier, just be patient, be diligent. I know it sucks when you walk into a store and there's no Pokemon product, um, but you just, just be patient, guys. Like, I hope that these tips, uh, these uh, tips help, um, and just be diligent because, again, oftentimes you'll find the product later. You can trade for it. Uh, you'll find it at some point. And you know, if you are having a hard time finding product, hit me up. I'd love to help you. You know, with your collection. Um, I, while I don't consider myself to be a, necessarily a middleman expert, I have uh, been able to help some people find product and find um, cards that they've been looking for. Um, cause you know, I just, I love this stuff, man. I love, I love this stuff. So that's it. Hope this helps you guys. Remember, don't hate, just form a different strategy. Love you guys. Take care.